the spring shown in this figure is fixed at one end. Force F is applied horizontally to the right at the free end. And the extension X is measured. If the force is gradually increased from zero to a positive value, we can find that the extension X is proportional to the force. This is also true for compressive loading. The slope of the straight line is a stiffness k, and k is a positive value. Now here comes the question. Is the negative equivalent stiffness of a system possible? To answer this question, let us review the concept of vibration isolation. The principle of vibration isolation can be applied in two basic ways. One is to protect sensitive items, such as delicate electronic components, from high environmental vibration levels. The other is to reduce the magnitude of the oscillatory forces transmitted to the supports. The schematic model for vibration isolation is illustrated by this figure, which shows a mass M connected to the base by a spring and a damper. The base represents a location where there is a high level of vibration, and the mass represents a shelf or rack containing delicate equipment which is to be protected from vibration environment. In this system, the ratio of excitation frequency to the natural frequency of the system is called the frequency ratio lambda. The ratio of steady state displacement magnitude of the mass M to the magnitude of a sinusoidal displacement of the base is called the displacement transmissibility. In this figure shows the relationship between the displacement transmissibility and the frequency ratio. As shown in this figure, to, effectu to effectively isolate the vibration, frequency ratio has to be greater than the square root of 2. As the ratio increases, the system becomes increasingly more efficient in isolating vibration. This animation demonstrates that the vibration is isolated. On the other hand, as the ratio approaches 1, vibration increases. This is called resonance. Therefore, for the low frequency citation, the natural frequency of the isolator must be very low in order to satisfy the isolation condition. However, low stiffness isolator causes unacceptably large static displacement, which is not allowed in practice. Ideally, a vibration isolator should have a high static stiffness to withstand the static lows without too large a displacement. And meanwhile, a low dynamic stiffness so that the nitro frequency of the system is as low as possible to isolate the low frequency vibrations. This high levels, this high static low dynamic stiffness the characteristic can be achieved using the quasi, quasi zero stiffness mechanism. Quasi-zero stiffness mechanisms are generally achieved by combining a negative stiffness element with a positive stiffness element in which the negative stiffness is achieved by two oblique springs. From practical point of view, the oblique springs can be replaced by horizontal springs connected with hinged bars as shown in this figure. From this figure, we can obtain the relationship between the vertical applied force and the displacement. In this region, the slope of the curve is negative. Therefore, the stiffness in this region is also negative. This figure demonstrates that in this range of the dimensionless displacement, the equivalent stiffness of the system is negative. Based on the negative stiffness concept, 
the zero stiffness system can be constructed by adding a positive value, positive stiffness spring to the negative stiffness system. When the system parameters are chosen according to the zero stiffness condition, the zero stiffness system is obtained, as shown in this figure. In practical applications, we are more interested in the range of the displacement about the equilibrium position in which the stiffness is less than the prescribed stiffness value. Such system is called quasi-zero stiffness system. So we can conclude that the negative equilibrium stiffness of a system is possible, and it can be achieved through an appropriate design. The negative stiffness mechanism can be further used to construct the QZS system for isolating low-frequency vibrations. Thank you.